Hello and welcome to The Soap Show. This time I'm talking to Kim Valentine, who of course plays Libby in Neighbours. And I've been putting your questions that you emailed in to Kim. Firstly, I had a question from Sarah from Exmouth, who said, I know you have a great voice and I believe you've recorded some songs with Tommy Hawker from Waiting Room. I asked Kim if that was true. Isn't that funny? I haven't recorded anything with Tommy, but I gig with Tommy. Ah, okay. Tommy plays guitar for me when I sing, um, and it's usually just me and Tommy, so it's just me and uh, one guitar, so it's all very raw and, you know, not a lot to hide behind, which is the way I like it, and, and Tommy plays and, and he sings harmonies with me, and we have an awful lot of fun together. But we haven't recorded anything yet. We've talked about it. Well, uh, yeah, I think you've got to mark it there because Sarah actually says, are you going to put them on a CD uh, so people can buy them? I, look, I, I haven't done a lot with my music recently. I just haven't had the time and I've been trying not to um, do too much at once. Sure, of course. So, yeah. um, when I feel like I'm ready to take it on and I've got the energy to, to, to give myself to that as well, then I might look into doing something. And when you sing together, are you singing cover versions or...? Yeah, pretty much just cover songs, but um, Tommy writes really, really well. Um, I've, I've, I haven't written a song for a very long time, but I've got some as well. It's, yeah, definitely something Tommy and I will do at some point, I think. Okay, well, it sounds like you've got your first customer there. Anyway. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> well, I had a few questions from people who wanted to know, had you been to the UK before, and uh -huh. if so, what were your experiences of it? Okay, well, I've, I've been, I think, maybe eight or nine times. Ah, right. Um, I've been for publicity a couple of times, um, I've done maybe five pantos. It's actually really, really nice to be here when uh, it's not winter. <laughs> it's usually winter when I come, so this is uh, a beautiful weather we're having at the moment and I thank you very much for it. Yeah, I think you've brought it with you this time. I hope so. Oh no, it was raining. I can honestly tell you the weather was the weather is better in London than it is in Melbourne. Oh right, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Well, Matt, um, I think he's based somewhere in England. He says, "What's it like for you when you're in the UK?" And although you know you're from, you're well known in Australia. All this way away, you get such a reaction from people. It's very weird. It's it's very odd because we just we go out to um, the studio, which is in the middle of nowhere. And um, it's very unglamorous. We just go ahead there, we do our job, we go home, you know, there's not a lot of room for anything else. Um, so it is very odd to, to know that people on the other side of the world know all about what we're doing. It seems quite weird. Uh, but it's weird when you meet really famous people and they're British and they know you. <laughs> that's really weird. And you think, oh my God, how does Chris Martin know who I am? Oh, that's how he's British. She loves me. <laughs> it's really, it's quite bizarre. Well, what, I mean, everybody always asks the Neighbours cast, why is it, do you think, that we all love Neighbours so much in Britain? I think maybe it's just a different um, different lifestyle, you know? It, it's a different way of life and it's a different environment and it seems a little bit idealistic. Right. You know, the sun and the bright colours and the moral at the end of the story, you know, it's, a, it's all kind of a little bit idealistic and um, I think it's... Uh, you know, interesting for people here because it's just a little bit different. Whereas Aussies are kind of like whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said you've been to the UK. Jan from Rosshire, which is in Scotland, she wants to know: Have you actually ever been to Scotland? I haven't yet, and my dad is, is Scottish. Ah. Um, and it's terrible they haven't. They have family there who came out to visit us in Australia, the Valentines. So no, I haven't. If I had more time on this trip, I would have. But unfortunately, every second of my day is <laughs> uh, How long are you here for? <laughs> Till Thursday. Oh, not too long then, really. No, that's it. Uh, well, I've got a neighbour's question from Alice from Surrey. Yeah. And she asks, um, would you like Libby to interact with more characters within the cast? And if so, who? Oh, um, it's so easy. We tend to kind of stick into little groups, mm. don't we? I know. Um, who? 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 Um, who would I like to hang out with? So I get to hang out a bit with the young ones because I'm teaching at school, which is nice. And then I get a bit of, you know, my peer group. I'm, I would like to do more things with um, Steve Parker. Because he's Italian and <coughs> half Maltese, and I was married to an Italian, and we've got mutual friends, so that would be fun. Actually, I don't think we'd get any work done. <laughs> we'd probably just laugh at each other the whole time. What about maybe characters that have been in the show through the years but aren't in it now that you didn't get a chance to act with at the time? I didn't get a chance. I didn't get a chance to work with Benji Hart. Oh, yeah, right. Um, but that was because I was away. I was 
I was doing the dancing when he was on. Yeah. But he seemed really lovely and I went to sit with a great guy he is. And I see that every now and then. And I was like, oh, I wish I got to work with him more. <laughs> well, somebody else you were with for a long time that everyone remembers is Dan Paris. Yeah. And also, this is another question from Alice. She said, do you keep in touch with Dan Paris and do you miss the days of Drew and Libby? Um, I actually haven't spoken to Dan in quite a while. He, he moved um, back to Western Australia and he's concentrating on his uh, photography. He's a really, really talented photographer. Um, and um, do I miss the days? Um, I don't know. We've got, you know, it's, that's one of the best things about Nobis, but it's always changing. That's why I've stayed there for 14 years, you know, because it never stays the same for long. Uh, and I'm loving where I'm at at the moment, and um, the storylines I'm working with Brett Tucker, so I don't know, good days, but I wouldn't want to go back. Right, I suppose Drew and Libby, since then, you left, then you came back, so it must seem like a long time ago to you now, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was a long time ago. Gee, it was a really long time yeah. ago, wasn't it? I can't even remember what year it was, it was around. <laughs> Well, talking of people that you work with, Tanya from Milford, which is in Essex, she wants to know which of the Neighbours actors do you get along with the most? Okay, that would probably be Alan and Jackie, who are my mum and dad. Right. And then Ryan and Carla, who are Toadie and Steph. Oh, okay, I've got a question about them in a minute as well. Do you th- I mean, if you think about it, the, Can- the Kennedys really are the first family of Neighbours, aren't they? Because you've all been in it for longer than... I know you've been in and out, yeah. but they've been in it for longer than any other family in the history of the show now. Yeah, you? that's true. We were really lucky, you know. We were just really, really lucky that we got each other. And we all clicked and we all think the same and we all get on so well. And we're just so lucky to have each other. We really are. And if, and if that dynamic had been different, we probably wouldn't still be there. Right. Jackie and I would always say, you know, if, if we didn't get each other... Um, we might not have stayed with the show. Well, a question I was going to ask you a bit later, but it sounds seems a good chance to ask you now, is yeah. somebody wants to know, what if Mal and Billy were to come back? Would you all like that? Yeah, if, definitely. We would do that for sure. Um, uh, I spoke to Jesse, who played Billy, um, not long ago, and he was in America doing a house, and, and said to, I said to him, would you come back? And he said, of course I would, we're the Kennedys. You know, <laughs> the real sense of um, family between us all. So watch this space. Could happen. Well, it's not impossible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You never know. You never know. It would depend on when he was available, really, because he's so busy in the US. Of so course. It would depend on his availability. Well, I've got three questions, quite interesting questions, actually, about um, Steph and Libby's yep. friendship from Tracy mm-hmm. in West Yorkshire. Um, firstly, I think you've sort of answered this. She says, I absolutely adore Steph and Libby's friendship, and I've read several articles that say you're close in real life. Yeah. 